Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Randy and happy Record Store Day. I know some people are really into it and really enjoy it and some could care less. I'm one that usually goes down there around 10.30 or 11 when things have kind of cleared out and hope that they still have what I'm looking for. for. And usually that works out. Uh, didn't quite work out this time as I went down there about a quarter to 11 to Mill Street Records in Midtown Kansas City and there's like three record stores right around in Midtown that do Record Store Day. And it was packed even at a quarter to 11. It's hard to, it was hard to get around in there. Uh, and it was pretty picked over and they didn't have hardly anything that I was looking for. So I went to another record store called Records, or, uh, Records by Merit. And... She a lot of times has things that the other ones don't, but but uh, her prices are a little bit more sometimes, but it's a smaller record store, and I don't think maybe everybody knows about it. So I went there, and luckily she had several of the one things I was looking for, and I never did go to the third record store that, that's close there. But let me show you what I got. All right, one thing I got. <clears throat> this is actually, isn't actually a record store day purchase. But they had 50% off, and it's this John Hyatt album, Crossing Mighty Waters, which I think is a really good one of his. A little more acoustic-based. It's got lyric sheet and custom label. Like I said, it was half half off, so I had, I had to get it. Even though I do have this on CD, and I said, I'm trying to cut down what I have on CD and buying it on vinyl as well. But half off, couldn't resist it. All right, next. This was the main one I was looking for. Because I thought I had this on CD. And then I realized, no, I didn't have it at all. And that's Joe Strummer and the Muscaleros. Of course, Joe Strummer of The Clash. Rock art and the X-ray style. And came with a hype sticker. It says, Dark Horse Records, Joe Strummer. 25th anniversary featuring remastered audio, limited edition pink vinyl. So like I said, opens up like this. I got the pink vinyl. And let's see. I can't remember if this has anything extra or not because I didn't say it on that. But, yeah, I think the other one's the same, same color. But yeah, Joe Strummer and the Mescalero. Next, uh, the store told me they only had one copy and they still had it. And that's this Sparks Number One in Heaven electronic masterpiece. That's what they say. And it comes on this white vinyl and also it says on the it's got an obi strip said exclusive 45th anniversary double vinyl release number one in heaven plus uh, an album the male brothers uh, produced by this la model singer called noel and is there more to life than dancing? Also, both of them came out in 1979. There's Anna. And supposedly, his, her real identity was never revealed. It's got this green vinyl. So, I don't know if anybody ever found out who she was. But, uh, like I said, it comes with the Obi strip. But I don't know if I really want to keep these two records together. You know. I probably want to put this in the S's and this in the N's, but we'll see how that how, how, what I decide to do on Next, that. Next, I got the oh, I was gonna say this. Those two albums came in this kind of sleeve like that, but it's already tore, so I don't know. Oh, there's the RS. The hype label is on that. I guess I have to cut it off. The pioneering electronic album by Sparks on white vinyl, and the Lost Gem by Noel on green vinyl. Uh, Next is the 
Trash Can Sinatras. Uh, I have their debut album, but this was their album from 2016. They're kind of called Alt Pop um, from Scotland. There's the inner, and yeah, it's kind of on this gray vinyl. The Trash Can Sinatra's pretty cool pop. I have not heard this album, so it's going to be interesting to hear. Oh, also the Trash Can Sinatra's was numbered. I've got number 1306 out of 1500. And then I also got this, uh, let's see the hype sticker for this one. Uh, vinyl debut of the 1992 shot of psychedelic post-punk bliss. Uh, not their debut album, but the debut on vinyl of this. Mighty Lemon Drops Ricochet album. Like I said, it came out in 1992, is that what it says? Yeah, 1992. Kind of psychedelic pop, I guess that's been called. But there's the inner. And this one is on this kind of light gold album, Ricochet, by the Mighty Lemon Drops. So those are the ones I picked up. It's not as much as I a lot of times have in the past, but I tried to curb my enthusiasm a little bit. There was a Nancy Sinatra one I was interested in getting and also uh, Willie Nelson, but I left them be. Uh, maybe later I'll try to pick them up. Also was kind of interested in, in the Chris Isaac one uh, that he did of the Sun Rockabilly covers, I think, but uh, both places were out of that one, so I didn't really look, and a friend of mine wanted to get the Ringo Starr release, but uh, both the places were out of that one as well. So anyway, uh, everyone, hope everyone's doing well. Let me know what you picked up and everyone take care.